Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Today we're looking at some new screenshots and information about the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh Switch game that's coming out and it's re being released relatively soon in Japan. I think it's has been on pre-order since the 21st of April and I'm sure its release will be very quickly. So as you can see from the images, you've got the top image there who has a number of the main characters alongside what seems to be your avatar. The avatar is the one that's actually at the bottom that you can see kind of punching the air and his story is behind who's transferred to Goha 7th Elementary. He knows how to rush duel but isn't really good enough to be called strong. He has a mysterious power called spirit that binds people together through rush duels but isn't aware of it themselves. In order to rush duel a lot of people he's entered the Goha rush duel battle royale. So the whole story is this person's got a special gift to him a little bit like you Masukumo has and he's able to combine that with the use of Yu-Gi-Oh rush duels. How we don't really know but I'm sure that storyline will be revealed a bit later. As you can see here we've got a few more screenshots. You've got an example of a duel from a tilted perspective so you'll be able to maybe adjust the screen to whichever way you want. There's information screen on seven road magicians so this is just an example of how you get the various cards and to be able to search up their information. You've got a look at the start of what appears to be a duel between Yuga versus Ranj. There is a screenshot of an effect being activated from one of your monster cards so it seems to kind of highlight the card. There is a small section on the screenshot which is a visual novel segment so that's just some character text as though they're having a discussion and below that is an overhead field format. From these screenshots it means that you might be able to adjust your screen so you can see how the duel is progressing depending on your preferences. I think this is quite good because some people like it close up, some people prefer the overhead view, some people just want to cut off the animations entirely. Maybe they're okay with it for the first 5-10 minutes. I mean that's very much like me, I like that for the first 5-10 minutes and then I get really bored of it because it takes ages to then go through it. This was less of an issue I think as the games and systems have upgraded but I remember for the Tag Force series when those were on the PSP it was a nuisance when you were using those because it would take ages to load some of the screens the older the games were, some of the original ones, Tag Force 1 and 2 you would always hear kind of the disc spinning and it was just a very nuisance and annoying sound especially since it could just ruin your enjoyment of the game and the last screenshot just shows what you do at the beginning of your turn which is to draw the five cards which is the standard requirement within Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s. So from these screenshots do you like the look of the game? Is this something you're considering purchasing? If you are make sure to put that comment down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for more daily Yu-Gi-Oh! content.